Hi, I'm Jen Fidel, the Pack Mom, here to make your life as a pet parent a little bit easier. Today, we're talking about measuring your dog's chest and neck size for a harness. And trust me, once you understand how to measure, you will never have to worry about buying the wrong size collar or harness again. So first things first, we've got to get your dog, or in this case, my dog, Abe, to stand up on a flat surface. Abe, come, come. Treats work really well in this situation. <laughs> So have them on a flat surface. Have your handy dandy measuring tool. I carry my little measuring tape with me wherever I go. And you're going to start out measuring the neck just above the withers. And you may be asking, what, what are the withers? The withers are where the neck and the back meet, just above the shoulder blades. So in Abe's case, his withers are right about here. And his natural area where his collar falls is just above that. So take your measuring tape. Measure right around, just in front of the withers, and right above the chest, and take that measurement. So Abe has a neck size of just about 18. Now for the chest, you want to get the biggest part of your dog's chest. Again, find the withers, and it's going to be just below that. So Abe, right about here, and you're going to go right behind the dog's front legs. That's usually where the deepest part of their chest is. So Abe has, like we said, an 18-inch neck, and he has a 30-inch chest. So now we know, and knowing is going to help us purchase the correct collar and leash for Abe all the time. Now, if you have a Pomeranian that's really furry around the collar line, or if you have a sight hound, such as a greyhound that has a long, narrow neck, or if you have a pug who has really no neck at all, you're going to adjust the measurements accordingly. Thanks for watching. I'm Jen Fidel, the Pack Mom, talking about measuring your dog's neck and chest for a harness.